Next, I want to show you how to add in a script for our character. So to do so, go to Script tab and open that up. And notice now we're now on the stage. And you can see on the stage you have several different tracks. One is for the camera track, where we can control the camera animation. The second is the character himself on all his animation tracks, as well as audio for background music. So to get started by adding an animation and voices to our character, we first make sure that we have the character track selected. And there are four different ways to add in a Crazy Talk script. The first is to add in a new script, which is basically an empty script without a voice. So that way you can add in animation and other effects without actually saying anything. The other is to import a WAV file or an MP3 file that you have on your hard drive. The third is to record your voice. And the fourth one is to use text-to-speech software. Depending on the type of software that you have installed on your computer, will determine which kind of text-to-speech you can use. Alright, so what I'm going to do is actually just record my voice. So I'm going to press the record button. And notice you have an input device. You can just use any kind. And I'm just going to use the microphone I'm using right now. You can adjust the volume. And when you're ready to record, you can just press the record button here. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. Wow, look Ma, I can talk with Crazy Talk 6. Then we can play that back just to see how it sounds. Alright, I think that'll work, so I'm just going to press OK. And notice now we have a Crazy Talk script created for us. But we can't really add the animation in because this is just a script. So if you want to get to the lower levels, the lower tracks, such as the head animation, the eye animation, or the voice animation, or any other kind of animation or special effects, we actually have to click on each Crazy Talk script, double click on it, and now we'll go into the lower levels of that Crazy Talk script. So now once we're inside the Crazy Talk script itself, you can see that the voice track has been added in for me and that the lip sync has automatically been created for me as well. So let's go ahead and start that from the very beginning and play. Notice that his lip sync is there, but it doesn't really express his true feeling. It's not like, wow, and his mouth is really open wide. It's more like, wow, but his lips are very, very low, like very small just doesn't seem realistic so what we can do is to enhance that script by actually using something called the key editor where we can manufacture some keys using the solo muscle the solo facial feature to choose muscle groups to animate each one separately so you can open and close his eyebrows such as like this or you can grab say his mouth and have his mouth up or down like smiling so, but what I want to do let me go ahead and delete that key I just created but what I want to do is is create a key that is just a normal set face key, but just right here, I want to actually to bring his jaw down a little to make it a little wider for wow. Then I'm gonna click on his eyebrows and eyelashes to bring it up a little higher so he looks more excited, like wow, it's Crazy Talk 6. Then I'm gonna go back, copy this first key, and then just right after the voice track, I'm gonna repaste that key. That way, whenever he speaks, he will actually look a little bit more excited when he says, wow, so let's play that. It uh, looks much better now, right? Whenever he says, wow, let's do it one more time. So that's how we can use the key editor to enhance the facial animation and the lip sync. So let's go ahead and close that key editor. And I'm going to double click on the face track to select all those keys I just created and delete them out. Now what I would like to show you are the three ways to add in emotions. The first one is to use emotives, so let's go ahead and click on the emotives tab and notice we have several different templates we can choose from, such as maybe like cute, so let's double click on that and you can see his face, uh, so cute, or we can do something like maybe uh, double click on that and now you can see he's a little crazy. Alright, so let's go back to the timeline. And you can see that the facial animation has automatically been created based off of the audio file that we have for this Crazy Talk script. So with the motives, you can just quickly add in animation for your characters. The other way is using motion clips. So let's go ahead and open up the motion clip tab. And you can see there are five different categories with four different types of motion clips each. So again, we have grumpy and angry. So we can grab that, drag that into our Crazy Talk script, then press play. And you can see he has the facial animation of anger. But the difference between emotives and with motion clips is that motion clips actually control many different things. You can see that it has tracks for transform, face, head, eye, and in some cases even special effects added in. 
Also, motion clips are grouped together, so you, whenever you want to move the motion clip, it all moves together, where you couldn't do that with the motives. But if you wish to actually edit what you have in the motion clip, you can right click on it, go to ungroup, and now you can select any part of the motion clip and delete out keys or add keys or edit keys. Plus, if you have a part that you wish to use again, you can highlight, right click on the motion clip track, go to group, and you have created your own motion clip that you can move around as a group. So if you happen to create your own type of animation that you wish to use over and over in your other projects, you can create the animation, group them together, then you can right click on your motion clip and add clip. That way you can use that animation clip anytime that you want to use it in any other projects. Alright, so I'm, what I'm going to do is now delete out all these tracks for the motion clip. And then I'm going to show you puppeteering and how we can use puppeteering to add animation for our character. So to do so, just click on the puppeteering panel and the puppeteering panel will open up. And notice, just like with the key editor, we have the solo facial features which we can choose the muscle groups to animate individually. But with the puppeteering panel, we also have puppet profiles in which you can use the hotkeys 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to quickly go through. So for instance, if we wanted to animate a wicked face, we choose the wicked puppet profile, then we can choose the different kind of full face controls to animate different parts of the face. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to press the preview bar and press the space bar. Now notice as I move my mouse around inside Crazy Talk 6, the entire face for our character will be puppeted around based on the movement of my mouse. So for instance, if I want to have like the, oh, I can't believe he did that face, I can just move my mouse up here, or I can make him look like, oh, I can't believe this is happening, and have it move down like this and move my mouse around just a little bit. Plus, if I press the Q, W, E, R, T, Y keys, I can quickly move through the full face controls and get different facial effects, such as this one, like, <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. Or you can get the, I'm gonna eat you face. Or we can press E and go to the next one and get like, I'm just a little angry or I am super angry face. Or we can go to the next one and have, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do it face or I'm really, really sorry. Press T and you can get the happy face like, hee hee hee, I really like my birthday present or something like this. Or press Y and go to this facial full face control and you can maybe move the mouse up like this and get that nervous twitch kind of face like, oh, 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 oh. nervous twitch. And we can make all kinds of funny faces with the puppet profiles and the full face control using the puppeteering panel. So what we want to do now is we'll choose youthful, then maybe we can choose happy, and then we're going to actually press the record button, and now every time I move the mouse around, it will be recorded live down here on the tracks. So let's go ahead and press the record button, then press spacebar. And notice now a motion clip has been generated for us as we puppeteered the facial animation. But just like with motion clips, we can always right click and ungroup it and then add in other types of animation. What I would like to also do is add in some special effects. To do so, we can just double click on the special effects track and our special effects panel will open up for us. Notice there are several different types of special effects out there like the gas mask, or my favorite, the broken glass, crack. Or we can actually choose something else like disguises. We can give him a nice beer hat. Or maybe he's Batman. Or maybe he's Mario. We can also open up metaphors. And so we can add in money. Maybe he's thinking about money. Or maybe our guy has a few flies flying around him. Maybe he needs to take a bath. Or we can go to special. And we can add in emoticons such as like question marks. Maybe he's not so sure about Crazy Toxics or we can just punch his lights out. Plack. But I think for this guy, I'm just gonna use metaphors and then I'm going to use the scary creepy bats and press okay. And notice that our special effects have now been added into our track and we can make it last longer by pressing the control key and dragging it out. So the special effect is a little slower and lasts longer.